Sheikh Moza bin Nasser calls out UNESCO's lack of action towards the genocide in Gaza. South Africa files a referral for ICC investigation into Israel's attacks on Gaza. Qatar Moto GP 2023 weekend has kicked off at the Lucille International Circuit. Stick around to find out more. Hi, it's Fatma, and you're watching the Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar Sheikh Moza bin Nasser has called out the lack of action by the United Nations cultural entity UNESCO on Wednesday over its silence on Israeli attacks on schools in Gaza. Sheikh Moza said, quote, I had at that time a lot of respect for this organization and a measured and balanced bet on working together to change the situation of education and protect it. However, I was recently shocked by UNESCO's silence regarding students being killed and schools being demolished in Gaza. The Qatari royal, the mother of Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, was appointed as the UNESCO Special Envoy for Basic and Higher Education in January 2003. And now South Africa's president said his country has submitted a referral to the International Criminal Court to investigate Israel's attacks on Gaza. The leader briefed the media in Qatar after discussions with Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. During his trip to the Gulf country, the South African president empathized with the Palestinians and what they are currently enduring. He said, quote, we struggled for 82 years before we attained our freedom. The Palestinians have been under occupation for 75 years and they've been struggling for many more years. He went on to say that his country will continue to support the Palestinians and was pleased to find that Qatar supports the same cause. And finally, the much-awaited 2023 Qatar Moto GP Grand Prix kicked off at Lucille International Circuit on Thursday, promising a penultimate race for fans of the sport. With only two races left in the season, the Lucille circuit may play a major role in naming the champion as 74 points remain on the table with the first 37 up for grabs this weekend. In an unusual setting for the sport, the title race could be decided for the first time after the Tassad Sprint and the Grand Prix race. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website and download our app.